Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's have a look at some of these coins. I have a quick overview of Bitcoin, but mainly we're going to look at EOS today. Um, things for me getting pretty exciting. I get a lot of a, little, uh, a lot of uh, hatred, in, in fact, uh, for these EOS videos. But you know, nothing's ever for certain. Uh, I can tell you that. You know, there's no such thing as a as a sure bet. Uh, but when it comes to a relatively safe risk to reward ratio, I'll probably say EOS is one of those. But it's also a long term thing. So uh, first of all, overview of Bitcoin. Bitcoin still trying to push above this uh, this resistance zone here. Still trying. It can try as long as it likes. This is the zone for me. Um, basically, super bullish for another two thousand dollar move when once we break and close above thirty eight thousand. But you know, overall, I am expecting perhaps uh, you know a pullback down to maybe maybe this zone here. We had a candle uh, close here, candle open here, and we've also got the ten exponential and the seven simple there. So you know, this is the range really for me thirty eight thousand uh, to uh, perhaps a, a drop of. Yeah, six percent or so down to that, uh, that those exponential moving averages. Uh, on a, on the whole, though, it doesn't look particularly weak. I'm only saying that because it's a matter of support and resistance, and this is resistance. We spent three days here, but you know, there's every chance that it will move uh, up to that forty thousand dollar zone. You know, I'm not super bullish on it at the moment, um, but it is looking okay. It's uh, it's looking quite good. And if we look closely here, what we're seeing is a, an incoming, not confirmed, an incoming conversion baseline cross on the daily above the cloud. Um, now it won't be perfect because you know if this takes place now, uh, Chiku Span is in the price action. That's not really how we're supposed to trade it. But that's two of three levels of confirmation uh, when it comes to the Itchy Cloud um, that we will have there. So you know it's not a perfect, a perfect signal at all. But it is a decent signal in itself for a long term, I suppose trend continuation but it's it's not the full it's not the full monty it's not the works you know so yeah take it for what it is it's a signal all the same right so um, before we move on to eos um which is what this video is about this is the dixie chart and uh, we had our first uh, pullback almost at well actually it was wasn't it it was at that level we were talking about yesterday 91.6 that's where the resistance kicked in. This blue box I've put in is, is just obviously a little bit too rough, but yeah, 91.6 is where we found that that um, that rejection from. That's fine, but look, you can still see that we're still moving within the channel, so um, it's not over yet, is it? We're still within the channel. If we break down out of the channel, then yeah, we we, we go bearish. If we break up, then obviously we, we go bullish. But for the moment, we're still riding within the channel. But we did get that re rejection at 91.6 as we were as we were speaking of yesterday so you know it's still bullish uh, I have to say it's still bullish but you know at least we got the rejection where we expected it if it breaks above here you know we do have quite a way to go actually um, I'm not saying that we'll go straight up there and I hope we don't because if we did that would be horrendous for everybody in cryptocurrency and um, if we if we move within this zone here it might give crypto uh, a decent opportunity to continue with its move, um, you know, slowly but surely. But if we break out of here, well, to be honest, even moving up here is is not going to be particularly good for crypto. Uh, but at least it will be slow and steady, uh, and uh, it'll allow things to catch their feet. Um, but yeah, we're still within the channel. Got our first rejection at, uh, at where we expected it, uh, but we are in the channel. So let's move on to EOS then, shall we? So, I mean, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. And I'll say it over and over and over and over. We are still in the accumulation phase, believe it or not. And this is where we are. I'll sound like a broken record, but I, you know, I'm not saying that we're going to be breaking out of this accumulation phase anytime soon. Uh, but you know, every time we we get above the 200 exponential, there is that chance that this is the last time that we're in the accumulation phase. We could make our way up to and above, you know, the main area of significance, three dollars and ninety. I'd say it needs to break there and close above there um, for it to uh, have a stab up to these levels at around about five. $5.30. Um, but in my opinion, once this is broken and it's turned to support, then the trend will begin. It'll be a bullish trend and it'll be a decent bullish trend and it will continue, I would expect, for the majority of the year. Uh, and areas uh, like these, obviously, uh, these are our first targets, uh, $5.30, I'd say. Next target would be around about $7.60 to $8.70. Um, so as you can see there are some significant gains to be had on this one uh, for the early investor and there's not many opportunities out there at the moment for the early investor not the ones that are very clear anyway I mean obviously there's there's a good chance that everything is going to continue up uh, and in that sense you know I suppose you know there are lots of better opportunities out there but when when you come to looking at one which is I mean there's no such thing as a safe investment but something that would appear to be you know at the bottom 
uh, buying at the bottom and this is one of those ones. Now we're in the center of what I call the accumulation period which is a large zone. It's a zone of 65 percent. All right, So we're right in the center of that. So it's a 50-50 if it goes up or down from here I have to say. So if we, if we got if, if it goes down it's a 25 percent loss. If it goes up that would be a basically 23-24 percent gain. This is the problem of accumulation. You just don't know where the right place is, why, and this is why it's very difficult to to play with margin. Um, uh, when when you're in a in a zone like this, there's no edge to it. So uh, putting the case forward for the bulls, uh, we have a conversion baseline cross. We also have a golden cross. Neither of these I will hold much weight to because we've been having these things over and over and over again. We had conversion baseline cross, golden cross, up down, <laughs> and we had a death cross, negative conversion baseline cross down. Uh, we've had now our second uh, round, well this isn't the second round, this has been going on for a while, I mean positive cross, negative cross, positive cross, negative cross, oh, no, that, <laughs> well, we've had it over and over again and they don't really mean much but we've just had a golden cross followed by the conversion baseline cross beneath the cloud, you know, kind of, you know we'll take it for what it is but like I say I don't, I don't put much weight onto these signals, not not when the chart looks like this, but you know, zoom out, when in doubt, zoom out. If I am correct, which I'm not saying I am, but if I am correct, we've got a very solid floor here, right? We've also got a very solid top here, and you know, this would still be the zone that we're expecting to stay in until it breaks out either to the up or to the down. Now, if it breaks to the down, oh, we don't want to consider that option, but we have to think about it. If it breaks to the down, it would be horrendous, it would be terrible. It would void pretty much my entire analysis on this token. Uh, this takes place for me mostly on the daily and the weekly, but if we look at these things on the long term, what do we have here? We're still beneath this cloud. Breaking above this cloud would take us to $3.42. That's no big deal, because really this is the zone that we want to get to. Uh, to, get to. So if we can stay between $3.50, I'd say, and, uh, and $3.90, um, and if we can accumulate in the upper area of the accumulation period, um, it would give me more um, more confidence in saying that this one's getting ready to make the, the first stages of its move. Now, you know, again, we don't have that conversion baseline cross on the on the weekly. In fact, if you look at the moving averages, they're all all in the same place. Absolutely no edge to it whatsoever. MACD is okay. I have to say the MACD is okay. Um, these other indicators are all okay. Volumes coming in, which is nice. Um, this. Uh, doesn't really count for much but there was one thing I remember seeing and I thought I'll just bring it up again now if we have a look at the RSI on the monthly here we have the longest period of bullish divergence I've ever seen on anything so if this coils up and continues to coil up we're now above the zero uh, the, the, the midway point so we are turning up now on the monthly if this were to pop if this move were to kick in then I would really expect something savage over the next over the rest of this year <clears throat> it would be savage, it would be massive. I do honestly believe a full retracement to its all-time high and then beyond. This isn't the all-time high by the way, the all-time high was way before this. Uh, the all-time high was around about $23, maybe even higher, maybe even $26. That area, I don't see why that couldn't be surpassed, but we have to take things in baby steps. Now if you look, I mean, just look at these indicators, I mean volume has been coming in slowly but surely uh, RSI has been turning up slowly but surely on the monthly and on the daily, like I say, we are at the top of the Bollinger Band, I would expect to pull back, but this is EOS we're talking about, it kind of does its own thing, it's extremely mad and stupid and crazy and unpredictable during this zone, it's only when we get out of this zone it will be pretty impressive. So just a recap, you know, we're out, we've been out of this consolidation phase for a long time now, one, two, three, four tops, and this top also corresponds to, uh, you know, uh, here, 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 here here, here and here. So this would be the the area to break and once that's broken then this would be my next target and that that would be fine to be rejected from there provided we come back down and get support from here. It would signify the change of trend. The trend would be changed, the, chen, the trend is now bullish in this in, in this instance and now we'll be looking to build upon that bullish trend um, and we'll obviously monitor it along the way and uh, we'll have to see all, all other kind of um, uh, oscillators and moving averages, seeing how they're shaping up the health of the entire market as well. But I am very bullish on EOS. Um, obviously, it's not doing much at the moment. You, know, you can poke it with a stick, and it's not going to care. Um, but it's definitely not a dead token, in my opinion. It's really not dead. You know, I get a lot of people in my comments saying, "Uh, but the developer left." I'm like, "Oh, did he?" 
So what? <laughs> so what have you left? It means nothing to this chat. The chat it remains unchanged by any of those things. Fundamental analysis has its uh, benefits, but really, on a long-term chart progression like this, you know, the developer can leave. You know, you, you could employ you know the cleaner as the developer, and it wouldn't change the chart to me. I would still be pretty uh, pretty confident in in its move. Anyway, I'll leave it with you there. But thank you for watching. I've got a live stream tonight. I'd love to see you there. Join the Patreon for full access to that. Two live streams a week, um, and it's seven pound fifty a month. Can't really complain with that. You bring all your charts to me. I'll have a look at them for you. Ask me any questions you want, especially about uh, charts, but even other things like bot trading. Like my my bots have been doing well. I'm, I'm getting close to my thirty thousand dollar target. And um, started with uh, one thousand two hundred dollars. So everything's looking rosy on this one. Hopefully, I'll achieve that maybe by the end of the week. But these things can't be rushed. I'm not I'm not looking to rush this uh, this 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 uh, thirty thousand dollar target. But I'm getting closer and closer and closer to that target. So getting quite excited and then I'll make a big video all about the success of bot trading but you know it worked for me um, and I have a very particular way that I manage those bots so uh, I, I suppose I speeded up the profit making uh, but anyway I'll leave it with you there I hope you have a nice day and take it easy